Hey guys, it's Xena, Real Queen of Horror. This week I'm reviewing the horror anthology, Holidays. This movie, it was released on two different days, April 15th and April 22nd. So this movie, it comes with nine different directors where they're supposed to deliver us like awesome scares, sinister stories, just all around awesome and keep in mind it is a horror comedy uh, let me just say that I was really super duper excited about this movie I remember hearing about it for a couple of months now and I wanted to see it so bad while watching the movie I found that I was excited mad giddy exhausted fed up with the world no, just forget it constipated <sighs> just all kinds of emotions were going on with me guys either you're going to love the movie or you're going to hate it the first holiday that gets covered is Valentine's Day and it comes from directors Dennis Widmeyer and Kevin Koch hopefully I'm saying their names right I have a habit of just butchering people's names they directed and wrote the awesome movie Starry Eyes which is one of my absolute favorites so I knew that they were going to be a part of this movie and going in I didn't want to be biased they did do this Valentine's Day tale and I'm I'm going to say I absolutely loved it I know that I came across some people where they're just like ah, I don't like it well you guys have some terrible taste this one is basically like the grim tale of this you know high school girl named Maxine who gets teased she's on the swim team and there's this blonde who just she does whatever she can to just belittle the girl just embarrass her so hard they even call her maxi pad like can you imagine they do it in slow motion maxi pad insanity and Maxine she has a crush on her coach this one just basically is kind of like a revenge thing going on there I felt like it covered Valentine's Day very well I'm going to leave out why because that would be a spoiler however if you did see the trailer you would see that the directors they add like a tint of pink to it with like hearts and stuff which I thought was so awesome and so Valentine's Day and I love those guys they really need to win like an Oscar which I know that they originally they weren't supposed to do uh, Valentine's Day originally they were supposed to do Halloween but I'll get back to that the next one is from the director Gary Shore he directed Dracula Untold and uh, he is covering St. Patrick's Day so this one actually really surprised me because I originally thought that they were going to do something just, you know, with people just being drunk and just screaming in the streets. At least that's what happens around where I live. But no, they went a completely different way. Basically, it focuses on an elementary school teacher who prays and prays for her own pregnancy. She wants to have a kid so bad. It comes true, but it's not always the greatest thing so I'll just leave that out it kind of took like a folk tale from Ireland which I thought was pretty awesome because Gary Shore he's Irish so it was just like a perfect fit for that one I wasn't truly in love with this one however I was still entertained the next holiday is Easter and it's directed by Nicholas McCarthy he did that awesome 2012 horror movie The Pact it's streaming on Netflix right now guys so if you have not seen that movie check it out when this one it opens up with a young girl and she's being put to bed by her mother and she's asking her mom some questions about Jesus as well as about the Easter Bunny and so pretty much the mom goes to bed the young girl she can't really sleep so she gets up to get a drink of water and that's when she runs into a visitor this one is kind of twisted and gross I would actually love to see this one as a full feature I'll just leave it at that so the next holiday is Mother's Day and this one's directed by Sarah Adina Smith she she did the mystery kind of drama the midnight swim this one stars a woman who gets pregnant every single time she has sex no matter what contraceptives she use no matter what guys upon recommendation she actually visits this women's retreat 
this one was really good it kind of has some hints of witchcraft not too sure if other people would call it witchcraft i think that they should actually show this one to teenage girls you know maybe there will be less pregnancies if they saw this one the next holiday is father's day and this one is directed by anthony scott burns i know that he did some short films and i know that he does some visual effects but he also directed an episode from the canadian tv show darknet which is streaming on Netflix right now, so you should check that show out. This one stars Jocelyn Donahue. You may remember her from Ty West, The House of the Devil. So basically, she gets this cassette tape from her father, whom she thought was dead, like, years ago. And he's basically leading her to where she can find him. This one, in my opinion, is definitely the strongest tale, and I absolutely loved it. Besides from Valentine's Day, this one was definitely my favorite, and I can so see this one as a full featured film. But pretty much with this one, even the way it ends, it kind of just, it just stays with you. I actually watched this movie about a week ago, and it's still with me. The next holiday is Halloween, and this one uh, is directed by Kevin Smith. You may have seen his movie, Red State, or Tusk. When I mentioned earlier that Dennis Whitmire as well as Kevin Colch, they originally were supposed to do Halloween. However, Kevin Smith insisted that he should do Halloween. I'm not too sure why, but that was pretty much the only way that he would be a part of the project. And it's like, I love Kevin Smith. Like, I really do. I really, really do. But with his tale, which I'll just explain it to you guys, it was basically about web camera girls and them pretty much getting revenge on their boss who's an a-hole that could have happened within any holiday it didn't have to be particularly just Halloween and to be honest with you this one was my least favorite like I love you Kevin like I really do but I just wasn't really feeling this one and it's it's just kind of starting to be a little bit hard to explain to people like why I did Kevin Smith movies so much don't get me wrong his films are always different so if that's the goal then cool but you know I was expecting a little bit more like you know you you wanted to claim Halloween and you got it and it was kind of like bleh like I don't want to bleh the next holiday is Christmas and it's directed by Scott Stewart he directed Legion, Priest, and Dark Skies so this one stars Seth Green and Seth Green is playing a father who is doing whatever it takes to buy his son a VR kind of a gift, you know, kind of like those Oculus things. This one is twisted enough and I can also see this one as a full featured film. The final tale is New Year's and it comes from the director Adam Egypt Mortemeyer. He directed the film Some Kind of Hate. I'm going to be honest with you and just say I wasn't the biggest fan of Some Kind of Hate. However, with this one, I absolutely loved it. And I felt like this film ended with a bang because of this tale. Basically, Lorenza Izzo, she plays like this quiet girl who goes on a date with a serial killer. But there's a twist to it. This one's pretty awesome. Let me just say, I knew that they weren't going to do every single holiday. However, I really was expecting to see 4th of July as well as Thanksgiving. Overall, I enjoyed holidays. This is a horror comedy. It's not meant to be serious. Because of that, I'm going to give holidays a 3 out of 5 Queen Skulls. If any of you guys had a chance to check out holidays, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.